This is Ryan Blaney, the 2023 NASCAR champion. And this is me, a third class machinery technician in the US Coast Guard. And this is how joining the Coast Guard led me to meeting a NASCAR superstar. into it how did this opportunity come about well one day i was sitting on my phone watching tiktok like usual <laughs> you know what i'm saying and my oic hits me up that's my officer in charge and he hits me up he's like hey we got two spots left open for this great opportunity it's uti with nascar and team penske putting together a great event for i think a 60 active duty military to go ahead and look at all their facilities and meet with the team and everything so I'm like, shoot, like, I watch NASCAR. I watch the Craftsman Truck Series. Like, I, my favorite driver is Roger Cruz. I'm like, bro, this is, this, is, this is cool. I gotta go. Like, I have to go. I signed up. I'm waiting to hear a bag. It's getting slow. I'm like, oh, shoot, I might not be able to go. Maybe I signed up too late. Three days before the event happens, I get word that me and my homie, Chavez, see, I do put you in videos, that we're going. So I'm like, shoot, Chavez, like, we gotta do this. So we plan to go for it. It's on a Tuesday. We wake up at 3 a.m. in the morning because we got a five-hour drive down to Mooresville, South Carolina, where the facility is. So me and Travis hop in a whip. We get going. We get down. Uh, we're driving, and we get there about 8 o'clock. It starts at 9.45, so we ought to wait a couple hours. Well, an hour. And as soon as we get in there, they put in this nice room, and they just give us a brief on everything that's going to happen today. So we're in there, and from the jump, it was straight nice. So the first thing we did, I think we went ahead, we toured their facility, and they're showing us the classes they offer at UTI. And I never knew how good it was until I stepped foot in there because everybody looked like they're either enjoying themselves or having a great time in these classes because they had classes where they're breaking on engines, changing brakes, uh, learning about certain, like, there's certain, like, manufacturers you can actually work with. They had Dodge. They had, they had Chevy, they had Ford and all types of stuff. Like they even had like certain cars where they were half, like half cut front wheel drive cars and it would make sure, hey, does these spark plugs work? Does this work? So it's like really technical and it is in the name, but <laughs> it's really technical and they really break down every part of it. They even have a whole welding class. We walked through there. There's a whole welding class. They have welding simulators. I was like, how do you do a welding simulator? Like it's literally like you're in like a VR and you're doing welding. I was like, bro, this is some next level technology they got going on. They had whole classes where they're rebuilding engines, like step-by-step, -step, like race car engines, like Ford FR9 engines. Like we're talking about real NASCAR engines. I was like, you can go come here for 51 weeks, get all the basics of learning how to do freaking Nissan Altima engines and high performance Ford racing engines. That's crazy. So we're going through there. We're looking at all their nice stuff and all these facilities they have. And then we get down to the race cars. Boys! Oh my God. We pat. We, uh, the first thing we did when we went in there, we we're looking at Joey Logano's car. We we're looking at Kyle Bush's, his Craftsman Truck Series car, and his, uh, his uh, truck. And we're looking at his cup car for regular NASCAR. I'm like, you tell me I'm five feet away from both of their cars? Five feet away? I had to touch a tire real quick. Cause I was like, there's no way. And I was like, this is cool. Heck, it got even better. We go over and they take us to a dyno. They have a NASCAR scene in there, or not, a retired NASCAR. And they have it running at 650 horsepower. <laughs> now, that's not the most it could run at. It was tuned a little down. You know what I'm saying? It was tuned down a little bit. It could definitely push more. But. They did a whole dyno test in front of us with a NASCAR at 650 horsepower. That boy was pushing. When he got from 120 to 180, getting up to 180, that boy was hauling. i never seen a car accelerate that fast to 200 in my life. Because once you start getting, like, if you're a real car person, you know, once you get to the, like, 120, 140s, it starts slowing up a little bit. You know what I'm saying? Be like, okay, it's slowing up. That boy, I was like... 200 was nothing to it. It was eating. And that was at a detuned rate at that point. So we see that. I, after that, I'm like, 
This is amazing. What else could they do? They take us to a, a just strictly engine dyno. They got a freaking, I forgot what they had on there, but they had this big block on them. Push 750 horsepower. Take it up. They clock it at 766. It was making 16 more horsepower than it was supposed to be. They don't even know how. They was just like, you know, maybe the, 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 the condition in the area was just a lot better this time. I was like, you just cranked out an extra 16 horsepower and you know where it came from? That's crazy. And then they just kept on taking on tour and showing us all this crazy stuff, man. Like, there was so much. I have videos for y'all because I'm not going to be a, a, explain everything because how much there was. But it was freaking amazing. After that, what do they do? They take us over to Team Penske. And they take us over there to their facilities. And when I tell y'all guys, there's never been so much stuff I've ever seen. Like, their facility is huge. Like, they have a whole section de dedicated to NASCAR, IndyCar, and like their Porsche racing development team. They have three different race teams in one facility. <laughs> I was in love. We're passing down on the stairs. We're looking at all the NASCARs. We're looking at... We're looking at um, Joy Logano's car. We're looking at uh, Ryan Blaney's car. All types of stuff. Like they just got NASCARs lined up. I'm like, just, just right here. All their all the posters from all the races they won. So we're going down. We're looking at the cars. Like this is crazy. Like looking at all the histories, all the all the titles they've won, all the Indy car titles they won. They they, they have 20. Ro Roger uh, Penske has 20 of them. 20 Indy car titles. And they're like, oh, there's gonna be more. Dang, <laughs> dang. Okay, so I'm like, oh yeah, 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 yeah. Just big ball number. Facilities are amazing. The, the whole facility is tiled out. You know how much square footage was in that, brother? How much tile did y'all? They said they, they this was the biggest tile job in North Carolina, and I believed them. <laughs> I believed them because there was no way. So then we go over to IndyCar. They got some of the cars broke down. They 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 got. The cars are full carbon fiber. I've never seen so much carbon fiber in my life, dog. Like, they just got millions of parts. They got 3D printers making parts. Like, full-on metal parts, carbon parts, resin parts. I'm like, I could build a Lambo. I could build something faster than Lambo. So we're going through. I'm like, shoot, they got any car in here. They got NASCAR in here. We get over to Porsche, uh, the Porsche Racing Development Team. They just got full-on Porsche cars ready to go to Le Mans in a week. I think Le Mans is next. They're going to Le Mans. You tell me I just I was five feet away from a car that's about to be in Le Mans. My heart almost died. Then I said, I asked, how much is the horsepower on this? Well, they said, we're regulated to run at five. But this is a twin-turbo V8. I'm thinking, okay, twin-turbo V8. If a regular V8... From a, a Chevy a Camaro SS is from pushing about 500 crank. How much can this push crank? It's twin turbo, and we're not talking little little itty bitty turbo. We're talking big boy turbos, tuned by Porsche by Porsche engineers. I'm thinking at least at least 1200. He he looks at me. He says, "Nah, but if we really put if we really put like stress on it and we we, we tune it up, easily 1300. E easily 1300." And y'all only run at five on it. That's smart, cause you know the less stress you have on it, cause of the power. Cause if it can handle thirteen hundred power, uh, like thousand power, like horsepower, then it can handle up five hundred. Five hundred cake for it. But you saying just looked at me and said thirteen hundred with a straight face, and thought that was normal. Yeah, y'all out of my league, cause, cause bro, they had multi million dollar. It was a multi million dollar facility, and I couldn't. I literally couldn't speak because. I've never seen all this. I, it literally was just money. It, it, oh, you know, we just got a car and fender right here. We got 13 indie cars in the back that we're not using. You know, just all the parts and pieces. I'm like, your brother need an indie car. Like, uh, I need a new daily type stuff. 
So if y'all want to hand me over a couple parts, I will gladly take them. Because, boy. So, we, after that, we get through that. We still get through walking all out of the facility. Your brother hopped in the gift shop. Now, while I'm in the gift shop, I already I, I already know some of the racers, like, from Team Penske. You know, I already, I already messed with Joy Logano, Ryan Blaney. So, I'm in there. I'm like, look, I'm going to give me a Ryan Blaney, like, I'm going to give me a truck. I actually have it. I'm just not going to grab it right now. Like, his, his trailer and truck. So, it has a picture of a car on it, and it's a truck and trailer. So, I'm like, shoot, this hard. We get into the meeting with Team Penske. They're showing us all their veterans. We're like, okay, we're just going to be the veterans that's here. That's cool. You know what I'm saying? That's cool. Ten minutes into that, they said, let's have a surprise for y'all. We're going to bring out the 2023 NASCAR champion, Ryan Blaine. And just said it was like it was nothing. Walks in. Dude got aura. I'm, dude got aura. Like, I'm, I have never been in front of a, a NASCAR, but dude got aura, man. He walked in there like he owned the place. I said want to be like him one day. Because, boy, because he just walked up in there like, oh, no, like, that's crazy. Like, he like he owned the building. Like, I mean, he is a racer for them. He might he might as well just own the building. So, we over there asking questions. I'm like, I'm interviewing with freaking Ryan Blaney right now. I'm, I'm asking him questions. I'm like, shoot. I'm asking him questions. They, people asking him questions. I'm like, this dude, he's such a down-to-earth person. And this was such a cool experience that I can be able to sit here and talk to him. Because he had a whole different tax bracket than me. <laughs> you don't get to do that often. You don't get to talk to people in a different tax bracket than you that often. You know what I'm saying? And it was, it was an amazing opportunity. I'm glad I was offered it. Because I got to ask him questions. I, I'll never be able to ask him again. Now, was I, was I going to ask the most outrageous questions? No, I was going to ask him some regular questions. So I'm like a weirdo. But, yeah, it was, it was fire, man. Like, I got to take pictures with him. He signed some autographs for me. And it was amazing because once you got to sit there and listen to his answers and just listen to what he's had to say about the veterans and stuff like that, it really made you feel like, hey, he's a real person too. Because he is. He bleeds the same. He, he breathes the same. He might drive a faster car than you, but he's still, he's still a real human being. And I love that about it because it gave us a moment to be like, hey, we are the same. You know, LeBron's still a person. Kobe's still a person. It just kind of reminded me, like, hey, just because he might make more than you or be living better than you, don't mean that y'all don't y'all not the same. So that was really refreshing. Like, it was great having a person that was there, like Ryan Blaney, to just be like, hey, what's up? Like, how y'all doing? Like, and the whole time I never seen him like frown or look mad about it. Like every time anybody asked him for a picture, he had sixty active duty veterans asking him for pictures. He never once said, nah, I don't want to do it. He always was there like, hey, no, let's get it done. No, no. I'm in a 305 like Remy, we shooting it up. I'm in a 305.